great way to describe Joey's career in real estate. With an extensive background in lending and the commercial real estate space, Joey has always had the will and ownership that comes um, with building a successful real estate business. Joey seeks friendship with his clients and leads with his trustworthy, attentive to build, maintain, and uh, sorry, and leads with his trustworthy attention to build, maintain, and grow lap, long lasting relationships. When he's not serving his local community or building a successful business, Joey is likely traveling and exploring new parts of the Bay Area with his family. I'm sensing a, a common theme here. A lot of people like to travel. I do too. Uh, Anything else that we'd like to know about him? Well, guess what? He is an avid sports fan, and one of his goals is to visit every NBA arena with his son. Wow. You know what? That's probably one of my significant other's goals is to go to every single NBA arena as well. So, love it. <laughs> Perry's already got your got your nickname. <laughs> oh, I love it. Jay Easy, huh? So, we're going to welcome Jay Easy to the stage. I don't know if he's going to like that coming from me, Perry. I think he needs you to say it. Sounds a little more like it rolls off the tongue that way. <laughs> he's laughing. He's like, oh, hey, God. It's all good. Oh. Yeah, the, <laughs> I think he's <laughs> sort of like a an athlete slash rapper name. I don't know. Perry's on on one. He's got all the good nicknames. So no, no. <laughs> no that's all good. Thanks, Perry. You're welcome. So how how are you doing today, Joey? I'm doing great. Um, yeah, wow, what an intro. And, you know, I hope I can just deliver and, and end this strong for everybody. You can, because Perry said that you're going to be on the ones and twos of real estate. <laughs> oh, Perry. Oh, Perry. Perry's quite oh, Perry. Yeah, thanks, Perry. Yeah, Perry's your get the resident character. I love it. Okay, so let's jump in then if we're ready to get going. Um, so, Joey, if most buyers are looking for homes on the MLS, is it necessary to market a home? Um, there or via social media, a home, sorry, to market home via social media. Oh yeah. I, I totally believe in it. Um, it's surprising how many buyers kind of start off in social media um, and, you know, probably already follow uh, people within their sphere that are realtors and comment and all that. So, you know, I totally believe in it. And what I do is it enhances the normal tools um, of normal marketing for me. So um, it we can do a lot of things that, as I was mentioned before, um, not a normal picture or not even maybe um, a normal virtual walkthrough mm -hmm. can do um, by doing live sessions or doing a, a Q&A walkthrough of the property. So that enhances um, a lot of the property's features as well for sellers. So Love it. I uh, absolutely agree. Uh, how effective is social media marketing versus <laughs> good old door knocking and sending <laughs> and sending postcards to the neighbors? <laughs> uh, it's a great enhancement tool. I, I personally love going door to door and meeting the neighbors. Um, you know, of course, we've had to cur curtail that with the pandemic, et cetera. But um, in a way, it's, it's also more cost effective um, by doing um, the same neighborhood, you can hit the same zip codes with the social media ads that you can run. And from what I've seen, it's almost like a fraction of the cost of um, doing the hard copy mailers. So we love that. It's also a great um, statistic to show to our sellers that, hey, we reached 10,000 people with this marketing campaign of your home. So it's a great added value for our sellers as well. Love it. Um, so what social media platforms do you recommend then? Which ones do you recommend to people to effectively market their homes? Well, you know, for me, the highest engagement that I've had is Instagram. Of course, um, we use the live tools, um, the reels, um, normal posting and, and all of that. But yeah, it just seems to reach, um, a lot more people. Um, Facebook, of course, because the two are married together. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty much. And Facebook, you can reach um, a whole other set of demographics, um, certain times that people are on. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, the, the, the ads originate um, from there um, as well. So it's, it's we pull stats and all that uh, from Facebook. And then LinkedIn, I've actually gotten um, referrals as well through LinkedIn, just by posting my normal real estate activity on there. And you know, it's a lot of professionals on there as well. So fantastic. So there's three ones. Yeah. Love hearing that. 
Um, especially because I think a lot of people forget the last one on LinkedIn. So besides just posting a photo of your listing, what are some ideas to promote your listings online? Oh yeah, Gary mentioned the motion uh, photography, you know, video or whatever, and that's the part that we love. Um, we the professional photos that Gary takes and photographers take, it's great. It's um, great for our feed, and and it it is the most engagement that we get when photos are enhanced and they look great. But we love to do one to two minute, three minute videos that's personalized for our seller and their home. Uh, for instance, my last listing, um, it had a electric car charging station and there were dog lovers. So we incorporated um, their electric car, um, shot it with drone and, and pulling into the parking lot, um, getting it charged. The owner actually got his arm in the video, which they were thrilled about. And uh, it, it had a couple portions of having their dog in the car with them as well. So, um, yeah, and, and on top of that, we layer ads for that videos and it's posted on YouTube and all our social media channels. So um, it, it definitely gives the property more reach as well. So. Well, yeah, and just that added layer of fun, right? People kind of can. You know. Oh yeah, we love it too. It makes it a fun couple hours, you know, shooting out there. So um, yeah. Good. I love that. Um, are there ways to identify potential buyers for a home and then reach out to them via social media? Yeah, well, the easiest way is the engagement through the posts. Mm -hmm. That's why, you know, you don't have to post every hour, but if you're constantly posting about what's relevant to what you do and you're authentic about it, I think you get the sincere engagement. Um, it's definitely lower um, on social media as far as the reach or getting somebody, but when somebody occasionally comments or somebody um, directly message messages me, um, it makes my job easier to see how I can help them and um, possibly we uh, show uh, the showing, set up a showing with them, qualify them, et cetera, um, as far as them being interested or being a client or buyer. Love it. Uh, I, I, want, I personally agree with you. So, we are out of questions. We, I have no other questions for you right now that I can think of. I might have one in a second here. I generally think of some other ones. But um, if anybody else has a question for the social media guru before we <laughs> <laughs> leave <laughs> No way. Social media is fantastic. Um, are there any interesting ways that you have received like qualified buyers besides the engagement with the post? Um, do you sometimes send private messages out to people as well? Or do they DM you regarding those things? Uh, yeah, you know, I've actually closed two or three transactions. One was a normal um, direct message, and I just kind of thought it was a prank at first, you know, but <laughs> yeah, actually said, hey, I follow you. And I'm like, what's your handle? And it actually turned out to be a first time home buyer. And um, a couple months later, we, we closed on our first home in Martinez. So love it. It's just, you just never know. Exactly. You know? Um, yeah. And follow up on comments, et cetera. I mean, you never know if it leads to a direct message conversation, which leads to um, something a couple months down the road. Right. So. Warm leads, right? Versus having to be cold leads, warm leads where people are actually. In yeah. A better chance for you to turn them into warm leads as well. Absolutely. Yeah. So two questions for you, actually, in the Q&A. We've got what's the most fun video that you've done? Oh, the most fun actually is was the latest one I just talked about was was incorporating, um, you know, our sellers electric car, their electric car charging station. And I think they're a little Pomeranian. It was. <laughs> yeah, I love the dog. Yeah, but we have another one that's coming up and that should be pretty fun. I think we're going to have a drop top. 67 Chevelle in that one pulling up. This guy gets, gets serious about his social media. Yeah, yeah. The seller's a car collector. So um, yeah, highlight it. I love it. Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, the Q and uh, someone else asked, uh, what tools or apps do you use for your social media posts? Great question. Um, yeah, a, a, it's mainly the 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 normal uh, app, which is Instagram or whatever. But I do use um, Photofy, which uh, is an app where you, you can uh, add logos, um, add stickers, um, add text, and another one called. <laughs> I can't remember the name, but it, it makes great Instagram stories mm -hmm. for you. Oh, um, oh I, I can't remember the name. He'll remember uh, later and he'll give it out to everybody then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, 
but yeah, I don't use, really use much. It's a lot of it is I like to do organic um, stories, reels. Uh, reels has been really good engagement as well. It, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a bit older, so it took me a while to figure out that, oh, it's <laughs> kind of like TikTok. Mm -hmm. You put a bunch of stories together and you can put cool music to it. And that usually gets me a, a lot of engagement as well. And little known fact for any of you guys who are on TikTok, you can use your TikTok videos if you create them for uh, real estate on Instagram. You just have to make sure the watermark from TikTok is out of there and then you organically put your caption in and then you can use your your um, TikTok videos. As well. Just so you guys know, in case you're repurposing content. So <laughs> something I can share with you guys. Um, hey, um, you know, my daughter is a gamer mm -hmm. and she's on Twitch and TikTok. And for some reason, every time I'm with her on TikTok, we go viral. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there and she plays some kind of music or whatever. We went over 100K plays one time, I think. Oh, man. So see, look, this you, got, you guys are getting all the information from the right person. <laughs> Um, oh, I love it. Okay. Well, we are actually on time today. We are actually ending on time today, guys. We are going to close out the end of this conference. We have one more question. Hold on. There is a Q and one more Q&A. Give us TikTok tips, Gary said. Oh, my God. <laughs> because you can I it because honestly, I'm not on TikTok. It's, it's you, have, my... you have to give it, for, get, ask his daughter, he said. You have yeah, yeah. It's my daughter that, that's on there. And <laughs> there's almost 20,000 followers or something, whatever you call it on TikTok. So, so there you go. Uh, Jenny says, thank you for sharing your expertise. We appreciate your expertise. Uh, <laughs> there's follow-up questions. I know it. Uh, so, <laughs> Gary. <laughs> Gary's asking the questions. So Gary, you're going to have to, you know, um, directly email or message Joey and say, Hey, I need your daughter's TikTok. Tip. <laughs> I can be famous and go viral as well. Um, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Joey, for your time. We really appreciate you uh, taking this out of your day. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and have you turn your camera and microphone off now so that we can close out and everybody can network if they'd like to. Um, I'll let you go ahead and do that before.